Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. This season we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works and now the spiritual. Today, the fourth spiritual work of mercy, bearing wrongs patiently. We've already done an episode on what it means to be patient, and we all have a basic understanding of what it means to be wronged. It's when someone does something to you which is wrong. Most often, that's unpleasant, too, and when it is, it can be hard to put up with, particularly when the only thing we want in the world is the satisfaction of seeing that person get what's coming to them. However, there are several good strategies for dealing with being wronged, as well as ways that belief in God can make that process easier. The first and most important thing to remember is that because God is good and will one day distribute justice to everyone, we don't need to seek justice for ourselves. It's just as well, since we're not very good at it. When people insist on pursuing justice for themselves, more often they end up focusing on revenge instead, or failing to do the just and right thing when they most need to. Often they'll even punish an innocent person to satisfy a guilty one, or even let an evildoer get away scot-free. God isn't anywhere near that sloppy. When Jesus returns, he will give true justice to each person, and he won't louse it up like we often do. As it says in Romans 12:19, Revenge not yourselves, my dearly beloved, but give place unto wrath, for it is written, Revenge is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. The second thing to keep in mind is the twentieth verse of that same chapter. But if thy enemy be hungry, give him to eat. If he thirst, give him to drink. For doing this thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. Romans twelve twenty. Why do this? Because, frankly, when Jesus returns to give justice to everyone, the judgment will be much harsher against the person who's been treated well by those they mistreated, rather than against the person who was treated badly by them. To harm or betray a benefactor is one of the worst sins that a person can commit, and I can only imagine the kinds of consequences in store for a person who continues being an enemy to those who give them the very things they need to survive. The ability to patiently bear wrongs is also a good sign of our progress in self-control, though, if you're anything like me, that's not really any comfort. What is comforting, for me at least, is the thought that this very skill of enduring evil and unfairness will also help strengthen me against temptation and evil-doing myself, increasing my chances of being able to accept the gifts of God and attain eternal happiness and ultimate victory over evils of every sort. How can we learn to bear wrongs? In the same way we learn any skill, through practice. Expose yourself to annoying people, and let yourself get annoyed at them, without mistreating them. Keep this up until you can drive to work every day without shouting at any other cars, and you'll be better at this than I am. Finally, I think it's important to point out one more thing. Patience itself is a virtue which can exist even in a perfect world. God knows that bearing wrongs will help us to become more patient and closer to him, and I suspect that's one reason why he allows it. However, we should never make the mistake of thinking that the wrongs themselves are good. Just because we're allowed to suffer through them for some purpose beneficial to us, they're still wrong and still evil, and those who commit them really are doing something horribly wicked. We just need to make sure that we don't do the same and emerge better, more patient, and spiritually stronger than we were before able to wait, even for the coming of God. Next, how can we forgive offenses? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.